right, so, hello everybody. It's John Lynn from DuttonIsland.com. Recently, I have been working with cyanotypes, one of my favorite mediums. Uh, as an art teacher, as well as an artist, I really enjoy cyanotypes with my students. So right now, I'm just kind of getting reacquainted with the medium. Super easy to use, a lot of fun, and uh, just a almost a magical process. I use it to explore uh, plant systems with my kids and positive and negative shapes and things like symmetry and composition. Thought I'd do a uh, how-to video, show you the process. So um, have a look and uh, enjoy. Okay, so these are the two solutions you combine together. One part each and you coat the paper with the solution. That paper is light sensitive, so when exposed to the sun and then put in water, it turns blue. So I like to pick flowers, put it on top of the prepped paper, then put some glass on top to keep everything from moving because of the wind and whatnot. And then let it sit outside on a beautiful sunny day for about five minutes. The sunnier it is, the less time it needs to sit out. And although you can't overexpose it, I never have, really, I don't think. About five minutes usually does the trick. Right there, the image is already on the paper. Such a magical process when you put it into the water. And my students absolutely go nuts. When you pour that hydrogen peroxide on top, and that beautiful blue color comes out. So neat. It's like magic. And it's an actual photograph. Um, of that plant. So when you do the root systems, the details really come out. It's really amazing. This would be great for a science class. You know, obviously I love it for art class. You can get those chemicals on Amazon. Maybe 10, 15 bucks. And they last for a long time. So you just put those chemicals in your fridge. And it will last quite a while. Stuff like this make good bookmarks, you know? I never get tired of pouring that hydrogen peroxide in the water and just watching that blue come out. I love it. All right, there you go. Pretty simple process and a ton of fun. Just to summarize, you've got your two chemicals. You combine them together with equal parts to make a solution. You coat the chemicals on the paper, let it dry. Then, once it's dry, put it in the sun. You got your plants or whatnot on top. And I usually expose it for five minutes. After that, you put your paper in a tray of water and that uh, makes the magic happen. Adding some hydrogen peroxide will accelerate that beautiful cyan color. Uh, and after that, you wanna wash it. And once you wash it, you let it dry. So, you guys enjoy, have fun with that, and if, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a uh, question or comment in the comments section, or you can always send me a direct message. As always, have a great day. Check out DuckNyland.com, and we'll see you around.